Hi, my name is Philip Vasili. I'm an Australian podiatrist and I've been in practice for over 25 years. I'm going to talk to you now about shin splints, which is a generic term for pain in the shin muscles. Now, if we look at Lauren, who's going to stand in front of us here, again, you'll see that I've drawn a line down the front of her leg or her shin through her ankle into her foot. If we look at this line, we'll see this curvature in this direction, which is called excess pronation or rolling inwards, which leads to collapse of the arch and also strain of this musculature. Now, shin splints, as a podiatrist, can be broken up into two sections. Firstly, we have this common area called anterior shin splints, which means the front of the leg commonly occurs with people who have an exercise for a while, may or may not be overweight, are getting back into a routine and find that after a few days of walking, they get this pain down the front of the leg. This is caused by the strain and pulling of all these muscles because this excess pronation rolls the foot in and collapses the arch. The other one is a little bit different. That occurs down the inside section of the shin more commonly in athletes who've been training for quite a while, but again, the same process occurs where the muscles are being pulled through the arch and this excess pronation is straining the soft tissue. Let's just look at the improvement. If we correct the alignment of the foot, here we can see the arch comes up, the alignment of the leg is straight, taking that strain off the front or the anterior musculature as well as the inside medial musculature. Now, Lauren, I want you to relax. If you see how she rolls in, you can see how the soft tissue is strained and pulled, particularly due to the arch collapse. I'll just turn Lauren's foot to the side. And as we can see with her foot pronated, this elongated arch pulls all the musculature down her leg, causing the shin pain, or what we call shin splints. And with correction of the biomechanical alignment to this position, we take the strain away. So how can orthotic technology help? Our orthotic technology is shown to reduce overpronation which can cause problems such as shin splints. As you can see with Lauren, she has her foot to the side, but again, this excess pronation, which can be seen by the curvature of this line, causes the arch to collapse and the foot to elongate. When that occurs, it strains and pulls the musculature, which causes shin pain. Now, if we get the orthotic device and place it under Lauren's foot, you'll see a dramatic improvement in the position of the arch, but more importantly, the alignment of the shin, the ankle and the foot. Now, if I turn that to the front, we'll see from what we call the anterior position, this dramatic improvement. Again, I want to take the orthotic away so you can see the before and after effect. Without the orthotic, Lauren's foot rolls in or pronates, which strains the soft tissue. With the orthotic, we see again, the dramatic improvement of the alignment being improved, the arch being higher, and that natural strain being removed from the shin, the ankle, as well as the foot. This technology is available in all of our orthotic products, and it is built right into our footwear range.